should burp. I show up what's going to be a pretty typical service call. Um, AC and it's putting out heat when it's set for cool. Oh no! They don't have the thermostat set up for a heat pump, so it's calling cool, but it's not engaging the reversing valve and cooling. So we got heat coming in. Um, so yeah, but uh, check this out. I look a little closer and find out this call is actually really special. 1989. You know, you know what's special about 1989? I was born in 1989. Me and this unit were like, I don't know. I mean, it's a little intimidating to think that this unit was going in when I was taking my first breath. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna outlive this guy from the, from the sound of things. I mean, as good as I am as a technician, there's only so much you can do. Right? Yeah. Let's see how this guy's age compares. What do we got here? 490, 1990. Ooh, okay. I was a year old when this was put in. I definitely got the upper hand on this service call. You know, this is probably beer can cold days. They were setting charge with the beer can back then. No doubt in my mind. Using the, uh, whoa. Hold up, what is that? Out of the ashes, ladies and gentlemen. This is the original Target superheat can used to set this system's charge. Probably still works great. Hear that? The gentle hum of a unit in its prime. What have we got here? What have we got here? <laughs> Would you just look at that? That is one sexy contactor. Oh yeah. The capacitor is spot on, obviously. No surprise there, right? Nope, not really. Let's find out what's making so much noise in here. Now, you can turn off the blower before you open that compartment so you don't suck anything in um, or pull the insulation off the door panel, but that's really not very exciting. Let's take a look at that blower wheel together. Yeah, that's looking like exactly why we're wobbling. Yeah, that blower wheel's looking pretty bad. Okay, we've had our fun. We've had our look-sees. Now let's turn it on. Check the refrigerant. Okay, here's all our readings in real time. I have the uh, field piece probes hooked up to the MeasureQuick app. It's looking pretty rough. Looking low in refrigerants. High superheat, piston system and the liquid line is really high temperature we gotta be it's in the red we have a really clogged condenser outside so let's see what they say about it system under charge condenser maybe dirty yep that's all spot on well we need to find out where that leak is and then uh, see about moving forward I mean it's no real big surprise this clothes rusted out and it's 30 years old but this is the nail in the coffin right here my birthday unit, gotta say goodbye. I mean, leaking from the evaporator coil. Yep, that's it, buddy. That's it, you're done. So this is it, guys. This is uh, the last you're gonna see of this unit running. Just spoke to the owner and he rents out this property and yeah, he doesn't wanna put any more money into it. I offered doing a coil clean in place and a blower wheel clean and removal and clean and condenser coil clean and then add two pounds of refrigerant to his leaking system and uh, he said no it's time to say goodbye and 
Couldn't agree more. It's time. It's time to say goodbye. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to Bird and American Standard. Happy birthday to us. Any last wishes? Too late. Wishes. Too late. Too late. Much, much too late for this guy. Time has come. Say goodbye. <sighs> but it just seems so appropriate that I'm here on its last leg when I was there for it, at the very beginning. It's time to say goodbye. Couldn't agree more. I guess I wasn't there, but whatever.